What is up you guys? It is Jess and in this video I could be introducing you to your new favorite band. So I wanted to get this one out of the way because Crazy88 is getting ready to release their second set of volumes on November 2nd and I figured might as well introduce you to them before you start diving into covers volume 2. So if you don't know who Crazy88 is, it's pretty much the music brainchild of Jared Alonji who pretty much is known for a lot of his parody videos and some of his other stuff like uh, Sunrise Skater Kids and Canadian Softball. For this particular project, he wanted to take a more serious route and he enlisted vocalist Lauren from Red Handed Denial. I already knew who Lauren was. I am a huge fan of Red Handed Denial. If you can't already tell, that was the last band I introduced you guys to. I kind of did that on purpose. Being that I knew what Lauren already sounded like with Red Handed and Now, I kind of had an idea already of how her vocals were going to kind of mix in with what this project was going to sound like. However, I didn't know what type of style they were going to go with. Um, as far as I know, Lauren and Jared have actually never met in person. It's all been like communicating over social media and emails and whatnot. And honestly, this project is amazing. I'm not going to lie. The first set of covers they released consisted of four songs. Four songs they released for their first set of covers is The Sound by the 1975, The Ghost of You by My Chemical Romance, When You Were Young by The Killers, and Colors by Halsey. Now, I'm going to be honest, these songs are absolutely amazing by the original artists, but as soon as I heard Crazy 88's version, I was completely blown away. I love the sound by the 1975, but Crazy 88, I love their version so much more. I don't know if it's because it's got more of a rock edge to it or what, but it's absolutely amazing. I think Lauren really, really captured her vocals on that cover. It's absolutely amazing. Crazy 88 also released their own original song EP. It's, I believe, consisted of four songs. The first song that they released w was actually kind of released at the same time as the covers. The song is called Tommy's Planet. It's absolutely amazing. Now, because I knew Lauren when she was in Red Handed Denial, she does both clean and scream vocals in that band. And when I started hearing what Crazy 88 put out, I was kind of bummed that Lauren wasn't doing the scream vocals to all of these songs. But that doesn't mean that she can't do them in the future. Honestly, I love her clean voice. I could go with or without the screen. So with Crazy88 releasing their own EP, No Word Spoken, they released four songs. Obviously, the first song they released was Tommy's Planet. It's got a few more songs. Quid Pro Quo, absolutely amazing song. Just the way that they captured, like, the way that they wanted to present Crazy88 was amazing. It's got a lot... A lot of rock sound, scream vocals, clean vocals, and it's absolutely amazing for Jared Alonji to put out a serious project like this. Uh, there's two more songs, You Were Right and 762. Now, I'm going to be honest, Tommy's Planet is my absolute favorite song off of this EP, though I love all of the songs just, just as much, but Tommy's Planet is absolutely one of my favorites. Obviously, the version of The Sound by the 1975 is my favorite cover of theirs, though they do really, really well with putting together their versions. So I'm super excited about Volume 2 covers just because I know what to expect now because with their own EP and their covers, they did a really, really solid, great job on it. So I want to see how they do with the second set of covers. They've already released the track listing, I believe. Yes. So they're going to go with four more artists that are completely different. And it pretty much goes with all different spectrums. They're doing The Kill by 30 Seconds to Mars. Absolutely amazing song. I want to see how they put it together. I know they released like little parts of the covers, but I want to see like how the full song is going to sound. That's absolutely going to be amazing. I can already tell. Perfect Places by Lord. I'm not familiar with this song. I'm not a, I'm not really a Lord fan. So honestly, this might be my first time ever hearing you know, the lyrics to the song. But I know based on the past pop covers they did with Halsey, 
there's no doubt in my mind that that's going to be a great cover. Next song they're doing is Duality by Slipknot. This is going to be interesting because Slipknot is a harder rock band. It's, I believe, the hardest genre that they're covering so far. So it's going to be interesting. Um, I f think in the little snip that they had released, it sounded like Lauren was doing rougher vocals or p potentially doing scream vocals. And honestly, if she does, I'm going to be so happy about it because just the way that she combines and the way that she can transition between her clean and scream vocals are absolutely amazing so there's no doubt that that's going to be insane i've watched her covers before she's done you know periphery and issues and bands like that that are just crazy with their vocals so if she can pull out the stops for duality i'm going to be impressed Last song that they announced they were going to be covering is Told You So by Paramore. This is one of Paramore's newer songs off of their brand new album. And I want to see how this one's going to go because this song is definitely kind of popish, but it's also like kind of alternative. So I don't really know how this one's going to go, uh, but I feel like they're going to pull it off because if they can pull off half the songs that they've done already, I think they can pull off Paramore. Granted, Paramore has kind of calmed down some with their sound. Uh, I I love Told You So. I love Paramore's new album just as much as I love the old one, so it's going to be interesting to see how Crazy 88 is going to put their unique spin on one of Paramore's newer songs. It's one of my favorites from Paramore's new album, so I'm super excited to, to hear how they're going to put it together. With Volume 2 coming out, this week it's going to be crazy a lot of people have been wanting this to be released and after crazy Eight released their first set of uh first set of covers and their ep a lot of fans actually w were pretty much blown away by it because they didn't know what to expect a lot of people hadn't heard of lauren so when he kind of enlisted her to do this she got a lot of exposure with it and honestly, I love it, but granted, I like to keep the bands that I know kind of to myself unless I'm introducing you to them. But I did my last introducing you video about Red Handed Denial because I knew I was going to be making a Crazy 88 one because Lauren is a part of it and they were getting ready to release their second set of covers. So I figured might as well do it the week of, that way you guys can catch up on old Crazy 88 and prepare for the new covers coming out. So it's a win-win. So yeah, check out No Word Spoken, Crazy 88 EP, also the first set of covers, there's four songs on that one, and then there's four songs on the brand new covers coming out this week. I'm so ready for it, I want to see how they put it together. I know in the past they've done a hell of a job with just putting a unique rock spin on a lot of these songs, so I can't wait to see how it turns out. I think the... Slipknot cover is going to be interesting because Slipknot is super heavy already so I don't know if they're going to kind of maybe back it down a little bit or try and top it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and if Lauren does scream vocals on these any songs coming out from Crazy 88, I'll be excited but I'm also looking forward to new red-handed denial from her actual band. So either way, I'm still getting my fix. Of course, I'm decked out in Crazy 88 wall flag. I got my poster on that side of my room and of course I gotta wear the t-shirt in the video because that would just make sense if I'm introducing you to a band or I'm talking about them. It would make sense to wear the merch. That's what I, in case you guys haven't caught on, I try and wear band merch if I have it for the bands while I'm talking about them. So that makes a whole lot of sense. Check out Crazy 88. I highly recommend them especially if you wanted something new to listen to, especially more on the rock side. Their covers are absolutely amazing. Their original songs are absolutely amazing. If I had to, obviously, recommend any songs from the covers, obviously the sound by the 1975, their version is absolutely amazing. I can't quit talking about it. I literally, for like a week straight, that's all I literally had my phone on repeat because I didn't want to listen to any other song. And if I had to recommend one off the No Word Spoken EP, I would say Tommy's Planet. That was the first one they released, but it's, it's one of my favorites. It is my favorite off the EP. I wasn't a fan of Jared Alonji.
prior to this, I actually found out from Lauren because I was a fan of hers from Red Handy Denial and I had heard about Jared Alonji and kind of what he did but I wasn't really too into it so Lauren pretty much introduced me to Jared Alonji and then Jared Alonji introduced Lauren to his fan base. I highly suggest if you like Lauren's vocals to check out her band Red Handed Denial. They are absolutely amazing. They're working on new music right now. They've they've got a couple of EPs out. Their Wonder EP is absolutely amazing. I talked about it a little bit in the reintroducing you video. I'll probably be doing a review on that as well. Um, I might do a review on No Word Spoken. I haven't decided yet just because I'm kind of working out what videos I want to put out. I have more covers coming. I have a couple Stan Atlantic covers uh, recorded. Might be doing a Boston Manor cover. But no, check out Crazy EDA, check out their covers, check out their EP, and prepare for the Volume 2 covers coming out this week, November 2nd. I highly recommend you stay up to date with them because I guarantee you this could be one of your new favorite bands. There's nothing else, I'm Jess. See you later.